All right, the purpose of this video is to pro provide uh, proper instruction on the uh, techniques of application of the trolley shoulder stabilizer. First part, uh, it's really essential to get the body of the sully applied right, uh, ideally right next to the skin. Uh, makes it a little bit easier. You take, roll the top of the sleeve back like so, start sliding up the arm. If you run into a situation where it's really tacky, uh, you can sprinkle a little baby powder to make it uh, slide up the arm a little bit easier. You start sliding it up. A little trick also is to take the bottom of the sleeve, Roll it up towards the top. Have the athlete push down into the sully. Roll the bottom sleeve back. And secure it. Turn around there so you can see that. Secure it. It's nice and secure below the bottom of the bicep. Take, stretch out the material, have them take a deep breath, hold it, secure it like that. <clears throat> now what we've done is basically reconstruct the capsule of the shoulder. Um, you can see the sully offers support all the way around the joint just like the shoulder capsule would. We also have a little bit of uh, tension uh, created here by the sully, by securing the little bicep, pulling the humerus back up towards the glenoid. First application will be for an anterior instability. Use a bifurcated strap. It'll start underneath the arm. Come forward with both straps. Have you take the low strap through the armpit, up over the opposite shoulder, and remove the Velcro, cut it, whether its desired length is, Velcro it down. For this video, we'll just uh, Velcro it in place like that. Next strap, the high strap. We'll go same pattern under the arm, through the armpit, under the opposite shoulder. And again, cut it to whatever length is needed and secure it down. <clears throat> so now what we've done is we're stabilizing the shoulder where it's uh, most needed. So as the athlete tries to externally rotate, abduct the shoulder, the line of the pole. Well, I should pull the head of the humerus back into the glenoid. That's a big difference between the sully and all the other shoulder harnesses. Very key though. If you run into an athlete that just has multi-instabilities, can't, that can't decide if they want to sublux anterior or posteriorly, uh, sully offers a multi-directional fitting. What we'll do is start just below the bicep, one of the four inch straps, and around under the armpit, up over top of the shoulder. Again, take your most stretch out of the strap, over, secure it underneath the opposite arm. And then we'll do on the, the other four inch strap. Just go in the exact opposite direction. Same thing, just face the uh, bicep, through the armpit, or the top of the shoulder, and secure it. For posterior instability, what we want to do is try and keep the athlete out of horizontal abduction. And internal rotation. So we'll start them externally rotated and abducted to about 90 degrees. Apply the strap just below the front of the bicep, 
Come around the arm one time. Through the armpit, take the stretch out of the strap or the top of the shoulder. Out of the opposite shoulder. Again, this is to prevent horizontal abduction and internal rotation. You turn around once, let me see that. The bigger athletes, a lot of times you'll have to repeat, overlap the other four inch strap in the same pattern. If need be, there's migration to the straps. The strap wants to move, just take a piece of velcro off one of the other straps and just secure them in place. All right, the uh, next application I'd like to show you is for a uh, potential rotator cuff strain. Um, again, what we're going to do is try and assist the shoulder in performing external rotation. So, abducted, 90 degrees, got the strap just in front of the bicep and across. Just follow the pattern. Same path the uh, rotator cuff would take. Why don't you turn around, Scott? Why don't you see that? Following the cuff, you can actually try to rotate while you're doing that. And secure it, opposite side of the chest. Again, that's for decelerating the arm. Once in a while, uh, run into an athlete with a uh, strained pec. Um, once the body is applied, Take one of the four inch straps, have them start an internal rotation, come across the front of the shoulder, just fall in line with the pec, and secure it the opposite side. That's to assist the pec. Solar also comes with a, uh, an accessory pump, a hard shell. Donut for AC separations. Uh, just needs to have uh, four tabs, Velcro tabs, adhere to the, uh, the donut. Identify the AC joint. And you just stick it to the Velcro sensor material. Once that's in place, uh, offer some protection for AC separations.